She can't talk. We can't have another dummy as a president, okay? We cannot have a dummy. And the people from Vietnam agree with that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Trump, would, would you want the microphones muted in the debate whenever you're not speaking? We agreed to the same rules. I don't know. It doesn't matter to me. I'd rather have it probably on. But the agreement was that it would be the same as it was last time. In that case, it was muted. Uh, I didn't like it the last time, but it worked out fine. I mean, ask Biden how it worked out. It was fine. And I think it should be the same. We agreed to the same rules. Same rules and same specifications. And I think that's probably what it should be. But they're trying to change it. The truth is they're trying to get out of it because she doesn't want to debate. She's not a good debater. She's not a smart person. She doesn't want to debate. But when I looked at the hostility during the weekend, you watch it, this week with George Slopidopoulos, and uh, the Vietnamese didn't get that one. <laughs> you got it. Yes, sir. If you didn't get it, I couldn't do it. But uh, no, we, we want to have fairness. We have to bring fairness. Ahead of the pack-up to the 2024 official political race, previous President Donald Trump has stood out as truly newsworthy by taking steps to keep away from any discussions that incorporate VP Kamala Harris. This striking statement has blended discussion among both political allies and rivals the same, especially considering the continuous conversations encompassing the discussion designs for the impending political race season. Trump's resistance to Harris' cooperation in the discussions originates from his view that including her would be both pointless and unseemly. He voiced his discontent with the possibility of discussing her, contending that such a situation wouldn't be gainful or enhance the talk of the 2024 political race. The previous president has stayed firm in his conviction that he ought to be drawing in with President Joe Biden straightforwardly as opposed to his VP excusing Harris as an optional figure dishonorable of remaining on the discussion stage with him. Trump's remarks line up with his long-standing incredulity of discussion designs and the organizations that oversee them. During the 2020 political decision, Trump straightforwardly condemned the Commission on Official Discussions CPD, blaming them for being one-sided against him and leaning toward popularity-based applicants. He currently seems, by all accounts, to be proceeding with this way of talking by disagreeing with Harris' likely presence on the discussion stage. This move can be deciphered as a feature of Trump's more extensive technique to subvert conventional political conventions and challenge the designs of official discussions as they have been directed previously. Adding fuel to the discussion is the vocal help Trump got from Robert F. Kennedy Jr., who is likewise running for president. Kennedy who is challenging as a vote-based competitor, came to best guard and repeated comparative feelings in regards to journalistic spin and the job of the press informing public discernment. Kennedy condemned the media's treatment of both Trump and Harris, blaming them for uncalled for depictions and manipulative detailing. This common doubt of the media has cultivated a feeling of divided complaint among Trump and Kennedy, regardless of their contrasting political affiliations. Kennedy's support of Trump's position is prominent in light of multiple factors. In the first place, it highlights the developing worries about journalistic spin and the impact of the press in constituent legislative issues. The two applicants, in spite of addressing various closures of the political range, seem joined in their conviction that the media has not treated them reasonably. Kennedy's comments likewise signal a more extensive disappointment with the norm in the American political scene, with the two up comers situating themselves as challengers to a situation they consider to be manipulated or one-sided. Moreover, Kennedy's study of the media mirrors his continuous battle to build up some decent momentum in a world of politics that has been trying for non-foundation competitors. Notwithstanding his family's profound connections to the leftist faction, Kennedy has generally run as an untouchable up-hand comer, as often as possible conflicting with party administration over issues going from coronavirus approaches to natural worries. His arrangement with Trump on media issues might be viewed as a work to support his own untouchable certifications and appeal to irritated electors across the political range. This common position among Trump and Kennedy additionally brings up issues about the job of discussions in present-day decisions. Discusses have for quite some time been a foundation of the American popularity-based process, 
offering competitors a stage to face each other on strategy and initiative straightforwardly. In any case, as Trump's serious intention to blacklist the discussions and Kennedy's analysis of media inclusion illustrate, the conventional designs of these discussions are progressively going under examination. There is developing disappointment among specific competitors and their allies, who view these discussions as being impacted by inclination and the interests of the political world class. All in all, Trump's serious intention to pull out from any discussion including Kamala Harris, alongside our FK Gyres, support, features further worries about the decency and utility of customary official discussions. The two opancomers are utilizing their investigates of the media and discussion designs to reinforce their pariah pictures and challenge the laid-out standards of political talk. As the 2024 political decision draws near, this issue will probably keep on being a flashpoint in the more extensive conversation about how the electing system ought to develop to mirror a changing political scene.